Welcome to the Parasite Podcast, a show about me and you. We are Venom. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Parasite Podcast. And today I have our friend Tevya, who is a great YouTuber. I'm a big fan of your channel. And you are very active in the video game community, the comic book community, movies especially too. Um, you do a lot of great stuff. We're going to dive into all that today. But before we get there, I want to give you a chance to say hello to everyone. And if you guys want to check them out, Subscribe to his channel. I'll put a link to it down below. Mm -hmm. Hello, Tivia. Hello. <laughs> so yeah. I gotta, I gotta ask, man. What, um, because you have a a deep passion for a lot of the stuff that I do as well. What is, um, like, I guess, where did your love for comic books and video games and movies, where did that begin for you? Um, what well, my love of video game comic and movies. Um, my love of the comic that became by the obviously from Bounty Anime series, Bounty Anime series. Um, did an anime series, um, played yeah. from TV and Journey, but found the anime series. Sure. Meant the works. And I had some movies. Then a movie came, I think, a like, long, long time ago. Went out on like, I think, 10 or 11 when I saw, I think, Star Wars going up. Then I was born in the 90s, so I grew up with uh, The Matrix. Um, okay. I played the Red movie. Yeah. Um, after video games. Well, I grew up, I was doing the time with Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, um, Xbox PS1. PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, but I grew up growing up. Um, as for video yeah, games, oh, TV show, I had to grow up with well, other TV shows, like some anime shows. Sure, and, yeah, I mean, uh, and oh, anime. yeah, and anime too, yeah, because you were mm -hmm. saying you love the Batman, Superman animated series, X Men, Spider Man. A lot, the yeah. 90s had a lot of great stuff. I mean, you're right. There's yeah. so many good things in the 90s. Uh, did you have yeah. a favorite of those, or did you just love all of them together? Um, I think my favorite show going on right now was probably Dragon Ball Z for anime. I just okay. see in um, Tsunami. Yeah. Uh, and for Yu-Gi-Oh! and Digimon. But my favorite show at the at, in, in comics and you know, I think was probably um, Batman the MS series, Super the MS series, Teen Titan, obviously, of that show like, sure. going up. Um, uh, oh, and point out, and but it's a spectacular experiment. Oh, yes, okay, of course, yeah. right? <laughs> Sweet, and yeah. uh, is did some of your humor come from that show, like watching shows like that? Yeah, 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 because I, I, I watch your stuff, like you're very passionate, like I said, you're very funny at times, you're a very charming, dude. Um, taking all that love for all that stuff you grew up with, like, what was the point where you said, you know what? I want to do this on YouTube. I want to talk about all these things on YouTube. When did that happen? Um, I think that happened around like 2012. I watched Jim and John um his video actually. I watched his and I said, right, okay. so I want to do my own videos. So yeah. that inspired me to do my own videos. And um my passion had to do it from there. Sweet. So Jeremy Johns, he's he's great. I love watching his his stuff. Yeah, same here. Yeah, awesome. Um, and you uh so you have like I said, you have a love for movies, you have a love for comics. Recently, you've been uploading video game streams too. Like I, I watched some of your Guardians of the Galaxy stream that you've been doing. Uh, how are you liking that game? I, I I'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah. I do love that game. That game was awesome. And I beat the game at the yesterday partner with the finale. And holy sh insane! That game was awesome. It, it actually <laughs> went insane with, with the comic stuff. But I didn't know a lot more comic stuff. The only most I know it for Spider Man. You know, I see like I'm Spider Girl and you part and and all the other heroes. Comic okay. stuff in Marvel is confusing. But yeah, Dr. I got you know is the part that I mean I do it because I, when I think in now I thought wait what it, it, it's gonna be like wait a minute yeah that will be but then they pulled out it was a great game the story was amazing and I'm actually shocked they went into the DLC with the Guardians but I never thought that the comic story with they that's on the comic of the correctly and it's actually pretty cool and I love yeah. that game that's awesome yeah you're right like because uh. Cause that comic, like I grew up reading Guardians of the Galaxy, and uh, but they were like Vance Astro it was like some of the other yeah. characters. Um, but when they did Annihilation and they had like Star Lord and Drax and all them, such a good series. And then the movie, just like to me, the the reason that that brand is a household name is because of that movie and the fun it has. Yeah. So I'm glad they mixed like the comics and the movie for that game. That's really great. Yeah. Yeah. Be good. I know like Gwani Daddy growing up. Okay, which girl I don't know about Gwani Daddy at the history. I don't know their back that much. So <laughs> that game that they would have made it at the um oh wait, next next to move movie at the end of the kid kids because I said I ain't weird kind of growing up. Sure. But it, I it was pretty cool to see at the like, all, all the easier for Marvel comic stuff. 
Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Yeah. And uh, I know also because because you've uh, for years now actually you've been uh, watching my show, which I really appreciate. And I've been watching your stuff. Mm-hmm. I actually think I found you in other people's comment sections and I would just see you all over the place. I'm like, yeah. man, this guy really loves this community. You really love these, you know, these things that we talk about and you're very active, which I, I love that about you. Mm-hmm. So what is it about other YouTubers that like draws you to them? Like you really like being a part of the conversation what you know why is that why are you drawn to talking about these things every day is just because you love it so much mm-hmm. oh yeah um i i'm actually very passionate about youtube because I, I do love it so much but also i, I want to talk to some people you know because good stay at it alone and you know like being actually it's not that fun that boring sure. don't we time so i i talk to people and if i get to know how to do the youtube channel and get to con- talk to my person it's pretty cool yeah and i like to- Talk to them like for people at the right and for start by the right I right. agree, and it's it's a good way to make friends, right? And yeah, that yeah. too. That's awesome. Um, so with uh with you know with your love, like one of the things you would comment on my channel a lot is Super Sons. You got to talk about Super yeah. Sons. Uh, you are a big Superman fan, and I've been watching your coverage because yeah. yes, I see you got the Pitavasi hardcover. That's so great. Yeah uh that's amazing that's a great book if anyone out there hasn't read it you got to watch tavia's videos on it tavia's videos and then also read the book it's so good yeah um and if you love superman do the book for you but it contains entire we were well just a kind of superman superman after peter demise and and um patrick and uh hoy many stuff um it's wrong action comic are great as well especially we buried by jen jiggins Yes, also a great book. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, when Superman came back in Rebirth, he was probably one of the best done, best characters redone during Rebirth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he was amazing. Uh, so what is it about Superman? Like, when did you first, like, start liking the character? And what do you kind of, what is your opinions? Because I've seen it on your channel, but for those who haven't seen it yet, go check out his channel. But just give mm-hmm. us a little taste. What are your opinions of Superman in today's comics yeah. and then when you got into comics? Um, I did say Superman acting comments right now. Well, Superman comments right now, and you know, is kind of like divided away with the whole with Tom Taylor's are going on, which uh, that I like, do oh, my own is so good. I don't like going my bunch of you got to piss me off on time. Why? <laughs> Why can't you, John? Like, you have been a major research on, but damn, if you did that, that's fine. Like, no one, if I didn't mess up any other point, he ain't trying to crazy, they won't date him, right? But I, I talked about that to my job with days and weeks and months and years. Well, not to years, not to really months not at this point. Yeah. Like, trying to create that don't do them. But despite that stuff, I know the, um, the Santa Carol book right now, it's fine. Even though it's still whether it's pitting on all fights to the BS, which I know that the hot topic going on lately and that's been done pretty. Sure. But despite that stuff, I am trying to get a boy channel, but I can't, but it's a dumb insane. As a comment on your hand, my Phil Kane Jordan is really good. The way issue came out, my way to view, like, acting World War Saga Part 1. Holy shit. That story is really awesome. And damn, I got to wait. I feel kind of not a good story. I'm dreaming where that's going. And I think the World War Saga is actually going to be a good story. Okay. Now, how long the World War Saga last, we don't know. I'm intrigued. I heard rumors that the major human are, but no, that's not going to happen. To all people who are stop bringing rumors. Rumors don't mean giant change. They're the actual fact, actual evidence. Yeah. yeah, there's exactly. a there's a lot of a lot of rumors on YouTube. I know me and you, like because we're in the comic book sphere on YouTube, yeah. we do our spheres cross over with other people sometimes and fans from other channels come to us and go, Hey, so and so said this rumor, so and so said that. What do yeah. you think about it? And I'm like, Well, like on my channel, I don't really cover rumors and stuff, but uh, but I know sometimes yeah. on your channel you'll if there's a topic, you like discussing it. And I know you've talked about the recent John Kent stuff. There's also, we're coming up on the 30th anniversary of the death of Superman. So it sounds like yep. DC might kill Superman again, <laughs> apparently, uh, yeah. which of, co- of course that won't last forever, but, uh, but still they're going to try to do it again. So with all that, like with all the current stuff behind, like, you know, happening, like what is your love for Superman? Like, where does it come from? Was there a show or a movie? Was it Christopher Reeve or Smallville? Like what got you into Superman? Um, what got me into Superman, you know, the going out was Superman the anime series, I didn't, then I need actually that got me into Superman. But then, you know, like, maybe passing the character was, well, obviously with, with tomorrow's show, we're doing Rebirth. Rebirth got me more into the kind of especially with my boy John, his introduction. Next yeah. to Superman, the car, obviously, that, the, the other comment, you know, who I do own, it's the same room, but, um, 
and that had gotten assumed. But, but well, going to be more in the would obviously the movie, you know, could you leave? Could the movie that yeah. or as an influence at the when you love the theater? Small movie also would have been influenced well at the like a show point up. Is it TV now? Eh, yes, but you know what? It still holds out to this day. It's not like high tier art, but you know what? Who cares? It, it's a good yeah. show, yeah. and the story it was pretty good from beginning to end. And the way the way show is assuming going to Quagmire, I mean, that's the other great show. With that, I am so happy to meet you. That's what I mean. That's good. That shows the part of the art process that we screwed up, but no, that's your time to meet you. I'm glad you're going around. Send the movie that during during well, we read, but then yeah, that's not doing talk about together. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What um you said uh but uh, with Superman and stuff like you were talking about your you know watching Smallville. I agree. I think it's beginning, middle, and end. Even though there's a couple rough patches and it's a little yeah. cheesy at times, I think it's still a great show. I rewatch it every now and again. Um, but yeah. what what a so with that as your introduction and what we talked about the current Superman. You said, you know, you know, distinctly, I heard you say about John, like that was your boy, John, um, and yeah. Rebirth kind of really made you keep an eye on that character and, and kind of uh, gravitate to him. So with his journey, like, like why Super Sons? Is it because the relationship between John Kent and Damien is so good? What was it about that book? Was it the writing, the art, like or all of it together? What did you love about Super Sons? Um, well, maybe a lot about Super Saiyan, yeah, dude, well... But he had to be everything. He gave me a great, great, great company. So it was my boy John, one of the people with his friends. Also, we had to even win at the final at the go get to humanity. Because, look, you know, David Wayne had a character, he's how I say it. Oh, right. And he gets to go out there as a jerk. And we you know, had an asshole that he needs as he's someone to talk to. And what, sure. what John had to give me with humanity. And when many go into that book, and you know, did well, obviously, the introduction actually of John, seeing that he interacted with him. And, but their dynamic is great. It was a great story. A great story I want to keep going forward. And then that story, well, a great coming of age story with John going on to I think one of the words from my experience hero. And what made me love that story more, it felt kinda of like, I kinda of remind me of Dragon Ball or some of my anime and you know, actually that's kinda of saying that with go go down trunk going out even the parties. And I was loving that story for all we more because dynamic with Damien and John was great. It had a great story, it had great pacing, the writing was perfection, and it was my favorite series of all time period. I'm at DC after all time. And it just drove me crazy that we watched that series for Fantasy the Night, in which I'll uh, talk about it later, but I do a lot more fucking action there. But um, we're making like Super Saiyan with everything about it. Like, I love that series from beginning, from beginning and, and to end, you know, I put Danny out here to book, but I still love that series. and. Well, maybe I'll see before well, everything about it. Like you said, like you said, the Danag was great. The, my boy John Warren, friend from the best, is great. And a total great at the uh, coming age story. And I love it. I love to see it from, from the very beginning. I uh, chase the agent to the day I die. And Godspeed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited for um, the Super Sons animated movie coming out? Mm hmm. Yeah, yep. yeah. <laughs> that's it. That and I bet maybe I did. I did watch it on DG Fan and, and discussing it with with, with, with uh, some of my YouTubers. And mm -hmm. when that, that and that, I screamed at the at the no trial. I was so happy. That made me smile because I've been begging and begging and begging DC for years in a Super Saiyan anime movie. Because DC, you have a gold mine when you have a Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan is one of your best team you had, right? And you threw it away with nothing. But come on. Super Saiyan actually could tell a great story. I thought that too, and George Judge damn it. And when they announced it, I was so happy. I got a That's, smile. I see that. Yeah, you got a great smile too. And uh, yeah, I figured when I, I got the press release, Warner Brothers sent it to me, and it's I was reading it really small. It said Green Lantern movie and Super Sons. So me, I screamed at Green Lantern, and then I saw Super Sons, and the first person I thought of, I was like, Tevia is gonna love this. And you were already making videos on it. You're already excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So with uh, Super Sons, I promise at some point on this channel, I will talk about it, it and I will dedicate that whole episode just to you. Yeah. Um, but I know you have talked about it. So if you guys out there watching want to hear his opinions on Super Sons and how much his passion is for it, how much he loves it, you got to go check out his channel. Please subscribe to Tevia today. Super awesome, dude. Um, so with the animated stuff, so we talked a lot about DC. Would you consider yourself a bigger DC fan or a Marvel fan, or is it just you just love all of it? Um, for DC Marvel, I like both Marvel and DC. Huh? More than I like both both universes, but then we 
DC, I like more than the guy I do for Final Fantasy. Marvel, I like Marvel more than the X Men Spider Man stuff. Avengers, I even got into the movie. That might be the Avengers here in one of the movies. Um, but as for Marvel, doing Marvel stuff, I care. I think Marvel is probably, well, obviously, two characters. One is Spider Man with his family, aka Peter Parker and Mary Jane. And Mary Jane. Mm-hmm. You know, I know you need Rabbi, I do own Spider Girl. Spider Man, take care of them all period. Next to Roy, aka yeah. on Wolverine. Yeah, oh, even yeah. Library, but more I love more on the In fact, for the score, I think Tom Taylor when he write at the eight K he note and the right. On the was a great series, super underrated. I don't get why people like don't like this book. Why it's pretty good. And you know you get the care I care about the most as a model. It just first made the model feel to what people are saying. I know. <laughs> Go out to be and be a dear adult. Let him be a daughter. Let him be a and be married and married and have a daughter. It can work. It will prove you right. It will get you for the for the with Spider Girl, it can work in order to make you it. Marvel, the clock is ticking. Tick tock, the clock is ticking. Yeah, and you're X-Men. right. X Men. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. X Men. What about X Men? Yeah. As for X Men, X Men, I love X Men going out, but Hickman X Men right now is kind of old, place these past couple months with William me. And since Hickman left X Men, yeah, that's scary for the future because, well, his direction, they all fall apart. Right. And that. And World War the most. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a, I, I'm a big X-Men fan. I have actually X-Men tattoos and uh, I, yes. I'm not a big fan of what Hickman set up, but then I thought, well, as long as he completes it, then that's fine. I'll yeah. just skip it and I'll come in after. But then, like you said, it kind of fell apart and other writers are trying to do Hickman without Hickman yeah. involved. It's not really working, but um, that's yeah. cool. I, I agree. All new X, uh, all new Wolverine that you showed me by Tom Taylor. I agree. That's very underrated. I love that book so much. Same. Um, I really like that annual they did where he, uh, where uh, X twenty three teams up with Spider Gwen. Yeah, Spider Gwen. And they fight the female Hornet, which uh, from Slingers. I thought that was <laughs> just what a that, great. That was funny. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That was great. Um, that's very cool. And you're right. Spider-Man, come on, Marvel. Superman can grow up and have a kid now, and Batman has for years, yeah. and it's been doing great. Just let Spider-Man have a freaking family already in the main continuity. Just do it. It, it works. Yeah. Yeah, but, I but agree. Like, like, give us something. Like, give us Spider-Man and Mini Parker and Robin King and Mini Unit. I say it was in the, the, the idea. I never give a lot of fight. Spider-Girl should exist in the main unit. It can work. Amen. I, I uh... I saw your video. Actually, I commented on it earlier because I watched it before we started. Was uh, you reviewed the latest Spider-Man issue? Now, this is what this what I like about your channel too. Is like you have a deep passion for stuff, and sometimes I'll disagree with you, but I love hearing your point of view. I really like hearing what you got to say. And you uh, were ripping into Spider-Man Beyond, the new Spider-Man story where Ben Riley's there, and me. Yeah. Like I'm so excited to have Ben back, but I think it's only because we've had two or three really long runs of Peter Parker by writers like Dan Slott and Nick Spencer yeah. that are very continuity driven. And, um, and there's some retconning and there's like a lot of, a lot of drama happened in those. So for me, I see Spider-Man beyond, which is a 19 part story. I see it as like a good four month break. Like it's like, okay, mm-hmm. like we're going to give yeah. Peter Parker a break for once. And then of course, probably next year they'll bring him back. But I agree. I hope when they bring him back, he get he marries Mary Jane. She says, "I'm pregnant." Like they need to just really yeah. move them forward as characters, uh, because you have Miles now, you have Ben, you have other Spider Men yeah. and Spider Girls out there. Yeah, you don't, Kane. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you don't need you got Kane exactly. You don't need yeah. Peter to still be that 15 year old high school kid anymore. You got all these other options. So having said that and stuff, like where would you like to see them take Peter Parker when he comes back? Because I'm sure he will. Yeah. On, uh, obviously, for me, you know, uh, wait, um, before we get to people, I before yeah. I started beyond, just saying my thoughts, and yeah. I said, my you know, like, well, and I read around that thing. Um, the problem I have this from beyond thing is fear filler. Like, wait, we went through all the other things you saw, and I with the whole video of like, Mephisto all along. Yeah. Yeah, Mephisto met them in the in Beyond Secrets. I, I, I did, I did, I paid the whole Agatha all along with it. Who's mad? Mess you up. Everything. Mephisto all along. <laughs> 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 Nice. <laughs> nice. I don't. 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 I
But no, we got to respond beyond filler story, which is really not that interesting. I, like, I don't hate Benoit, I, I Benoit, but I feel like they missed a major opportunity with not eating any other like, like people are like, like, end of story. If you want to have Benoit take over Spider-Man, fine. But you, you could have done another way, but some people are not going to coma just like that if it's the dearest villains, the you first. Who, fan you for the Hulk villains, which, we got the Hulk. Mortal Hulk, and then that's the weird. Yeah. Sure. sure. Yeah. Well, I um, yeah. oh. and it's funny, yeah, because you, because I mean, and again, I love hearing your point of view on it. I know for me, when I was reading the new Beyond story, I think the second issue, Peter yeah. Parker's, he's in a hospital bed and he has his loved ones around him and he starts having seizures and you know, and he's he's like, and he mm-hmm. slips into a coma. So that actually something very similar to that happened to me in 2010. Uh, and oh. so when I read that. I burst into tears. I was like, holy cow. Like how, like, cause that happens sometimes. Sometimes obviously writers, they have loved ones in their real life or they know people yeah. that go through these health tragedies and they write about them and they put them in comics like Spider-Man and Superman. And I feel like yeah. that happens a lot with Spider-Man. I think a lot of personal stories have gotten squeezed into Spider-Man and Batman stories over the years. So when I yeah. read that, it made me connect with the story, but I agree though. I read the newest issue, the third one, I think by Kelly Thompson, and I was like, this feels like filler. It's just people talking yeah. for, for 22 pages and then Morbius shows up. I was like, yeah, not very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are there is there any comics you've read? Um, because I, I talk about that a lot on my show with the Venom vlog, where I personally connect with the character. Do you has have you had experiences like that reading comic books? Yeah. Um yeah. well maybe the character can you and the other was um Old oh, Spider Man by Ben is when when you're in his it, prime it, that book I fell in love with the book from the very beginning of the Witch series. Yeah. But yeah, we're made it had some weird story arc with the whole body swap story with weird what the hell was I reading? I mean no sense, there's stupid now and done like that story did stupid basket. But besides that story, that story was great and fell all when people all love his story from beginning to end. Even though his story Devin my opinion, I love it Dev Devin main Devin the great story of Santa Fe in that book behind main pieces. But Sam that story actually was great. It was a great at the center off. My last story, I tried reading on Ultimate. I tried, I really did. I just I don't know. Volume one, volume two were fine. They were ancient stories. Volume three, there was open Venom War stuff, which is weird. It didn't do over any block. I felt wait, what am I but over any block, it still tried to open Doctor Doom, but that never got resolved, which is odd. I thought we never resolved that story. Yes not. Then old people came back, that made me happy. I smiled with he's back. Oh, he's back. And then we smiled, but then the old man got blown up. Yeah. Great! All that progressing, all that started joining with old people got, got destroyed. Right. Me. Everything blue. Thank you, Marvel. <laughs> Thanks for gonna destroy my hopes and dreams. Uh, that frustrated me. Um, but as for DC, two characters two characters come to mind. Okay. One obviously is well it's John and she went and it's mm-hmm. and and you know, be my father and near the hill. Second character is Mini Hunter Spider Girl, my favorite Marvel character ever. I love a character, or it's not a real life character. I will keep that to you, Honorable, even in the day I die. I love that series. I think you own that series in my room in my room. But yeah. um, I love that series. My third favorite character in reality is probably Wide West, my Flash. Wide West is the fact that I grew up with growing up in the WWE anime series and Visiting Limited. And I love that character. That character in my the main bass on I love that story. I love that series. I love Ava Wild West, my favorite flash ever. I am sorry with the current flash to a main book right now. The current flash book by Jerry Adams is great. Yeah. They yeah. follow Wild West by the end. That, the, the one issue with, with Daughter, amazing. That brought me a lot of hopes and feeling back to me that I miss a very long since Ben is destroying me. She made a doctor book, but I have a family book right now. Like, both this and Wild West flash book right now are both amazing. Nice. I, uh, yeah. I, and I agree with you. Actually, one thing I do agree is uh, I, I'm not a Bendis fan either. So whenever you make videos yeah. about Bendis and stuff, I I love watching them because I'm like I agree with everything you say here. Um, yeah. But you, uh, but also you said earlier you brought you made a great comparison. Speaking of Superman um, and Jonathan, you just showed me there. Uh, they you compared them to Goku and his son, uh, which I yeah. thought was really really. Actually, I never thought of that comparison. But you're right. Two powerful beings, you know, or a powerful dad and, a, and his powerful son. Yeah. Like, what a great comparison. Uh, like, well, before we get into anime, because I want to talk to you about that a little bit. Before we get into that, 
what would you say, which company frustrates you more on a daily basis? Because I know sometimes you'll do videos where you rant on news about something Marvel does or DC does. Yeah. Which one do you think causes you more heartache <laughs> between the two companies? Yeah. Honestly, I think what kind of got me more heartache is probably DC. But then in DC themselves, they go to kind of, kind of be at the for a couple of years. But Marvel taught me insane because what? Your time, we'd be all in the bitch stuff. We'd be all the people I'm gonna get married again. I'm not gonna pull a trigger. Are you kidding me? I can't wait not 10 years. Screw the ass. My dad is the most frustrating about Marvel, which is Spidey. But DC themselves is trying to weird spot where you can drive me crazy. It's not all bad. It's not me going crazy. I'm not worrying about every single issue from me saying that would drive me insane. But um, if I choose between I and company, I gotta go with Marvel. We get Marvel coming more frustrating. But DC themselves does come frustrating. But it's coming frustrating more for certain characters. Not everything. But um, it's just more than so good and insane with the stupidity with the bad years. Yeah, um, I understand. Like both half and half. Sure. Okay. Fair enough. That's yeah. fair. Um, and uh, and well, I, I, moving on from comics for a minute here, because I'm sure we'll come back to it. But um, anime, like you you mentioned Dragon Ball Z a couple times in this episode. So, what is it about anime? Because my friend Alex, I sometimes watch uh, anime with him on this channel, and uh, I'm not. I didn't grow up with anime. Anime was very different yeah. when I was your guy's age and younger. Um, but your generation and Alex like grew up watching anime. So what are some animes that, like, besides Dragon Ball Z and Toonami, yeah. you mentioned earlier, but what are some of your favorite animes, and and why? Why are they your favorite? Yeah. Honestly, my favorite anime, and you know, when I was growing up, and you know, I was at Dragon Ball, I was out to Yu-Gi-Oh! and Digimon, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, But I think my recent anime, and you know, in recent, you know, it's My Hero Academia. That anime, mm -hmm. I love that series. That series is my favorite anime all time. I love that story, because... It brings that superhero story that, that we've been missing for very, very long time Western kind. That is a heart and soul to it. That oh. series might be able to tell the great story of Dr. Matthew Wayne Big Bay Hill. And personally, might be in that anime, I'll tell you what, it feels more like comic X Men, okay. but done better recently. Because that's the you know, I think we'll touch our books and people are doing two parts. But it's not like more like dark, cynical, edgy 20%. It's more I think, hopeful and I think people are trying to have the Big Bay Hills. Cool. And I love that story. Like, I love that series, and it's a great series of all. And scene five in reality, I just made this scene. It's not so hard to watch, watch four scenes, but no, I love that scene. And the way the movie, awesome. That movie was made us on theaters. It was a major badass. Like, <laughs> made you, I, I, made I, you I smile? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's yeah. really cool. You, I got to say, I've heard a lot of people tell me about My Hero Academia, um, and no one's quite sold me. When you just said, it's like X-Men, but better in what they should be and more hopeful and less cynical. You just sold me. I might have to actually check mm -hmm. the series out finally. Yeah. yeah. I highly recommend checking out and when you get the chance. Um, but I, I know anime series I got into is with Demon Slayer. Oh, okay. that, that series is dark and depressing. <laughs> but also that's a hopeful. And, and, well, it's not all dark, dark, but it, that story also is pretty cool. I love that series of art. And I did see the movie in theater, Mugen Train. That was an awesome movie. I got a movie as a time period. It's awesome. Both my hero and Demon Slayer are, are both good. Um, but as for as for old anime I watched growing up, um, I think old anime I watched growing up. I never remember my memory here. It's probably Gundam. But the only Gundam series I watched and you know, what I think movie Suit Gundam maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember what movie is on Tsunami during, during that time period. But sure. uh, now anime is um um in um. In in Russia, yeah, in Russia, yeah, that's mm -hmm. the I, I would point up. Sweet, in the oh. series, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's great. Those are a lot of great shows you listed there. Yeah. Um, how long uh, have you been watching anime since then? Like not like nonstop, or do are you like do you pick and choose which animes you like based on the premise? Um, I pick and choose what anime I watch. I do pick and choose on the premise. Some anime I try to into what a recent one. I don't remember which one. There's something. The, Book something is it? Wait, so you're trying to just go die and then you're going to abandon the world with no books? Sure, I tried watching it. Just, no, it's done stupid. I no. managed it. Yeah. But, um, but um, I usually pick out which each premise, I do which story it is. Sunday is really good, Sunday is really not that interesting. Um, one anime I did watch a, a long time ago was um, not Death Note. Oh, Man, that's it. Yeah. A dark and depressing and very, very messed up. Yeah. But it makes sense. 
Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've heard the premise of that one. That's a, that's a really weird premise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's cool though. I, uh, I watched the, I think I've watched two episodes of that show and then I watched the live action movie and then I wanted to yeah. Stop, like, yeah, I wanted to set my house on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The movie was bad. They butchered the story. They were like, how do you screw up that? And you eat prime to adapt. You can't screw it up. But they screw it up. Which is, why? It's not that hard to screw up. You idiots. Uh. It, it's funny yeah. to me when I'm sure you run into this frustration because I think I've seen it on your channel, like where you make videos yeah. on it. But when it comes to adaptation, like what are things that you that frustrate you that they do wrong? And what are things that you hope they do right when they ad- adapt something? Um, I think what frustrates me, you know, you know, and, and, and when they adapt something is that they don't get the characters right or they screw it up. Yeah. Right. What one example I do know you know I think from I think this is one Japan so on um, from Tello that's um, Attack on Titan, which uh, that live action movie on field and that was just frustrating because what? You had the perfect point I did adapt after that story and you somehow screwed up. How did you go with Attack on Titan when you sort of adapt? But, uh, oh am I kidding? I should have known they were screwed up and things are changing. Bad changes. How uh, the anime going on right now? And now it's a quite similar story. Wait, wait, what? You tell me in uh, the kid I know Alien I do who fought at the tooth and nail, who one of them is like now becoming a monster right now in the final scene right now. Which, why? Like, that yeah. makes no sense. Then again, I did so much everybody like that as well, so I just expect that. And that, we're going the finale. I'm hoping the finale to the anime, even though, you know, if it does that, the manga ending, fine. But please make it make it make sense and not go down this stupid route. Right. Right. But uh, as far as far as I have any concern, um another I think I have in the other multi live action is that sometimes they make some weird change that don't make sense to the story and some you know, some weird change you know, that don't make sense. I'm fine with it if it makes sense, but if you do something stupid, then uh that's probably frustrated. I think I think you said it really well, actually, about um, having uh, focusing on character. I think a lot of times that is where uh, adaptations drop the ball. It and I, and I don't know if you feel the same with uh, as I am about to say or differently, but I don't really care so much sometimes about the look of a character. Although I know yeah. that's important, important I know, but really, I like you said, I want someone to be the character and to act like the character and to do things the character would do. I think those are the most important things when it comes to adaptation. And like you said, if you have to change story beats, as long as it makes sense, it's fine. But if it doesn't mm-hmm. make sense, you know, like, why are you changing it? Uh, just do what's already there and then change something else later. So yeah. is there, is there a, could you give me an example of an adaptation either from a comic or a game to a movie that you did like? And then one example that you didn't like. Um, one example I did like you know, from video game movie is probably um more common. Not to, not not to reason. We do more common movie. Yeah, five Yeah, but, uh, nine nine more common movie from the back in nineties. Yeah, great. That yeah. that movie I got more common yeah. correctly. Did the last show with Even mm-hmm. though it was people pretending I get that they couldn't do it all because of studio BS reasons. Sure. But they somehow two for nail make that story actually great. And the I think that the game with mainly that this show with but they can. I know they did some changes with Scorpion Sub Sub Zero, but you know what? Fine. You want me to send them to the song? Whatever. Like, as long as you get the episode of Zhu Kang, I don't give a damn. Like, I'm glad that the, that the movie Quirky was a good movie, a bad movie, I love that story, and I'm glad that the first movie Quirky. A sequel went to hell, but that one part of the part of the end, part of the when him, he can direct that movie, he the other stuff. Sure. Even though the movie was not great, but eh, for bad, for worse. The movies, fine. I yeah. I grew up watching them in theaters. I watched the first one theaters with my dad, and I thought I thought it was fine. Whatever. Cool. Um, but other than that, for other adaptations from TV show, movie, or video games, um, the recent video game I think we got, Sonic the Hedgehog and Ted Pikachu, was surprisingly yeah. good. Yeah, uh, they yeah. somehow but adapt the show too and did great. Yeah, I didn't find any program with live action, but it worked. With that yeah. shock me. So I had the auto works to buy the movie without the shock me. That's why it was really bad. But thank you all for the redesign. They made that movie actually good. Yeah, it's funny because, uh, like I said, the look of the character sometimes is very important. And with Sonic, yeah. uh, that first look of him, 
it was just it, it was nightmare fuel it was really weird yeah. looking so when uh when they redesigned them it what what helped them big time is one they listened to fans so they redesigned yeah. them but two luckily they also still had a decent movie already so changing him just helped the look of him but the character still acted like the character throughout the movie so you're right. I think those two movies, uh, Detective Pikachu and Sonic, are great examples of adaptations that are not one to one comparisons to the game, but yeah. still, still really well done. They change things, but they they work. Uh, are you excited yeah. for Sonic Two? I, uh, I I am I am excited for Sonic Two. I think because that post credit tail you know I didn't spoil it. I haven't seen the movie, but <laughs> yeah. that I I think made me shot because. Holy shit, they got terror. That made me happy. And it's the same way. I, I think the same part of the movie when the game. I don't remember. But uh, I was so happy. That made me smile. Because, oh, yeah, Terry, it's really cool. And I'm very excited for Sonic 2. I'm very excited for that movie. Uh, even though I don't trust Paramount and Child Record. But if they say I want to make the sequel good, like the first yeah. movie, I'm I'm all in. I'm hoping, hoping it does turn to be good. Not bad. Because most of the guys in the sequel, they're going to be, gonna be horrible. But I'm hoping they, they, they put fine color. I can't wait to see that movie. I'm looking forward to see go. I can't wait. Oh, Jim Carrey got Dr. Bonnick and Eggman. He is perfect. He is having fun. He was great. Um, yeah. 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 I, I'm glad he's having fun. I adore uh, Dr. Eggman. And I can't wait to see more in the future. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, can't wait. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, Jim Carrey was, he's awesome. He, he made that movie a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. Well, I got, I got like one or two last questions for you then since we're, we're wrapping up now. But, um, with uh, some, I mean, obviously this is the Parasite podcast, so sometimes we talk about Venom. Is Venom a character you have ever had interest in, or have you just seen the movies? Do you read the comics? Like, what what is kind of your overall feeling, uh, without spoiling any movie stuff, but just like what's your overall feeling about the character? Do you have any interest in him at all? Oh yeah, um, I find that I like Venom when you're the most because of when obviously I grew up more Venom more for the, the anime show, um, nice Spider-Man show, more for, for Venom from that up to the last season. Next to you, the almost Spider video game, I grew up with Venom. Um, and um, as for any other stuff in the comics, the only Venom one I got into coming was well, obviously you a protector, and that well when I put Macron Carn in, I think more the other people. From not the game, but from the comic I read. Sure, sure. I like Venom I from those story, but I like Venom story outside any block and not some other way, not like way too many kind of all over the place. The, the only Venom story I read currently, you know, I think like currently with Don Cage Venom. Sure. Because he may give it about any block again, because like, you know, after um, um, Fire Thompson's story he got like a block because it's pretty night BS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The story kind of went to hell. So then yeah. we prize with a stupid. Right. We prize any that character. I'm sorry, I got killed off. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God he's yeah. yeah. That's one of those things where you're like, thank God he's dead. I remember when I covered that comic in my comment section, you were like, oh, thank God he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be happy. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, well, uh, and and uh, as far as like upcoming things, we'll end on this note because I know there's there's so much coming out, and I know you cover a lot of it on your channel. Yeah. But as far as like DC movies or TV shows or Marvel movies and TV shows, are, is there one or two of those that you're very excited about to see on the big screen when when they release? Um, yeah. Um, as far as DC movie and you know, and TV shows coming out for the big screen, uh, I'm looking forward to the, the Batman movie coming out for DC. We got that movie on the bad, and even though I'm kind of better on Batman, I need a play. The Batman is trying to be as he's going pretty. But um, I'm looking for a movie because it's a you know, great bad look for a panel of great Batman looking for that movie. Uh, number one for Black Adam, more because even though Black Adam, I know he ended up Captain Marvel, he did Captain Marvel, he'll be a bad thing. Well, she didn't have a real Captain Marvel, but he could DC Captain Marvel. I'm going to wear a sequel. Um, and for Flash, I don't know if you're going to movie, but we'll see. Uh, we'll but see. as for TV shows, I'm looking forward to seeing Mungo Man for Young Judge. I love that show. I'm glad to see four. So going to watch. I love that show. I'm, glad, I'm hoping we were to see five. Quite a big now. We do get seen five. Please, 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 please. Five. Cortevia and me, please. Season five. Yeah. Wait. What? 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 Season five. So Mungo Man. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Season two. I'm looking forward to love that show. We get them at doing some of my favorite right now. Um. Mm-hmm. And for Marvel, I'm I'm looking forward to Hawkeye. Email Hawkeye more than you can. Sure. I mean, just gonna I'm looking forward to show more. But you can connect to young to um young Avengers. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to um Doctor Strange more than Man. I'm looking forward to Spider Man, the new Spider Man movie. I'm looking forward to 
even though I'm worried about the movie because let's be okay. honest, you know, it's Sony, I don't trust them, but I'm going to make me way too much again. Yeah. yeah. But I am hoping we can be good. Um that's why I am all movie coming out. Um Oh yeah, four of them and five moving forward to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one because James bought the four. I know some of you hate James bought the four B. Yeah, this this guy wait, wait, wait. No! Jim Bottom yeah. is a good story. I love that story. It was a great series. Yeah, that movie has, it has a problem. Even I admit that it's not perfect. Nothing sure. perfect. Yeah. But you know what? Screw it. I'm looking forward to that. That's not moving now. I'm looking forward to the Tiger TV. But even now, poor man, I know it's something you know, like under the reasons. But I'm still looking forward to the movie. And I can't wait to see that movie today. After having your kind of a mobile, I know Morbius comes out, but I don't give it out Morbius. So, yeah. <laughs> <We're gonna> check, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm with you. Like, uh, I, yeah. J- and you're right about the Jane Foster story. Like, uh, I heard, I actually, I actually hadn't read it. And then I just saw people online saying it was one of the worst things they ever read and it's terrible and SJW this or whatever. And yeah. I was just like, whatever, I'll read it one day. And then I finally did because yeah. my friend Alex recommended it. And there's a lot of heart to that story. You're right. It's yeah. not perfect. There's definitely some criticisms, but I think it's it's a good grounds for a movie. I think you're right, yeah. uh, and and I, I hope they do a good job of it. And yeah, Morbius. I mean, I cover all the Sony stuff here. I know Sony frustrates a lot of people, um, so Sony's kind of my corner of the YouTube universe. But um, mm-hmm. Morbius, I'm I'm intrigued. The last trailer intrigued me, but uh, yeah. he's he's not a character I ever like overly loved too too much. Although my mom Same. says my mom said I did when I was younger. She's like, oh, I know who Morbius is. You used to be a big fan. I was like. I was so, <laughs> so I'll trust yeah. her memory over mine. But, um, but I understand. No, those are all great. Black Adam, all that stuff. I'm very excited for all the stuff you listed, man. Yeah. Uh, me and you, I think like when I watch your show, I go, he and I love the same stuff. We may feel differently about it, um, mm-hmm. but we we do love the same things. And I think that's why I gravitate to your channel so much, man. You're you're a really yeah. awesome dude. I love the stuff you make, and um, I can't encourage everyone enough. Like, please go check out Tavia or Tevia. I'm sorry, I, w- I always called you Tavia because I never yeah. heard it pronounced. Um, so Tevia, everyone, go check out Tevia's channel. I'll put a link to it down below. He's got amazing content on there. And before we go, do you have any uh, last things you want to say? And I know you have a Twitter, so I'll try to put your yeah. Twitter down below if you'd like me to do that as well. Yeah, uh, you, you you can do it. And, and, um... Yeah, I'm following you on know, the um, I'm following for the future. I'm looking forward to our second in the future. One of the big movie and comic and TV show I'm looking forward to. Um, I am my the one the same movie I'm trying to do about uh, about the Super Sons. Okay, that's my favorite comic. I'm looking forward to that movie. Even with that, I'm begging DC to make the end movie. That's my my top movie coming out 2022. I can't okay. wait to see that. It's not coming for you. I'm coming at home in a CGI witch at 50 50. We should have to I'm quite fan of this movie. Great. Yeah. Um, but for the future of my channel, honestly, I don't know what, what am I going to do now. I may mean, review it if more, fe- well, fear state. I don't really care about that event. I may cover one issue of that story in the future. But mm-hmm. that's my uh, African content. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll be mentioning it. Um, uh, you, you can follow my Facebook, my Facebook channel. Well, Facebook, I know I do a Facebook page. Um, also on my well, group, but then I, I have Twitch. I have Twitch as well. Yeah, Twitch. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. I'll put links to all that down below. His Facebook, his Twitter, his Twitch, and his YouTube. Check this guy out. He's awesome. Obviously, and uh, for all those who stuck to the end, thank you for being here. Uh, Tevia, you're a blast, man. I had so much fun talking to you today. Mm -hmm. Thanks for making me smile and for making me laugh and uh, and sharing your love and also being a huge part of this community. I feel like every time I went to a YouTuber's channel, um, even if it was the first time I've been there, I will see your name in the comments. You are to me, very much a part um, a part of this community, but also the heart in a lot of ways to me of connecting this community together. So keep doing what you do, man. I love that you share your passion online. <laughs> Thank uh, you, man. I appreciate it. You're very mm-hmm. welcome. And uh, we will definitely uh, see you next time. And I'll try to get a Super Sons video out to you before the movie comes out. I promise you that. All right. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>